coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. AEA urges aviation stakeholders to read mosaic fine print. Over restrictive FAA regulatory initiative stands to devastate air tour industry. NASA reestablishes contact with Voyager 2. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. AEA urges aviation stakeholders to read mosaic fine print. Recently, the FAA published its long-anticipated and much-discussed proposal to expand opportunities, certification and otherwise, for sport aircraft and pilots. Dubbed Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certification, or MOSAIC, the proposed legislation's ramifications are broader considerably than many LSA enthusiasts yet realize. AEA notes that obfuscated by the celebrations are changes to Part 1, which directly affects the entirety of civil aviation sectors to include airports and FBOs, the establishment of Part 22, which sets the certification foundation for all future consensus standard-based aircraft certifications, the expansion of the environmental standards applicable to the initial certification and modification of all LSA, changes to Parts 43 and 45, Significant changes to Part 61 and 91, which pertain to pilot certification and flight operations, respectively. A change from a prescriptive hour-based approach to qualifying LSA repairmen to a performance-based approach more consistent with certificated mechanics. And the introduction of commercial space to Part 119. Mosaic is a torturously complex proposal eminently and urgently deserving of thoughtful and thorough review. Aviation stakeholders are reminded comments pertaining to the Mosaic NPRM must be submitted no later than October 23, 2023. And coming up after the break, Opener Aero launches Blackfly Early Access Program. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Open or Aero launches Blackfly Early Access Program. Air Venture 2023 saw Open or Aero debut its Early Access Program, a milestone heralding Blackfly's market readiness and commercialization. The program enables participants to provide Open or Aero feedback pertaining to their individual customer experiences with the Blackfly eVTOL platform. Featuring a unique tilt aircraft architecture, Opener's Blackfly is designed to comply with FAA Part 103, which supports consumer recreation and short hop travel. Blackfly may be operated in Class G airspace over uncongested areas. Canada grants TCCA certification to Piper M600 SLS HALA system. Transport Canada's Civil Aviation Authority has granted approval for the HALO safety system feature of Piper Aircraft's M600 SLS model. Piper's Ron Gunnarsson said, quote, The certification of HALO in Canada is an important accomplishment for M600 owners, Piper and our Canadian dealer, Aviation Unlimited. It is our mission to bring the latest and greatest technology in our aircraft to customers worldwide, end quote. Owners of M600 SLS aircraft already operating in Canada may avail themselves of the HALO Safety System's full suite of features to include auto land and standalone auto throttle via a retrofit kit. History Restored Tour to visit Utah and California The B-29 Doc History Restored Tour will travel the western U.S. with stops in St. George, Utah and Chino, California between September 7th and 10th, 2023. The C-47 known as That's All Brother, the lead aircraft by which the first Allied troops were delivered to Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944, will join the B-29 Doc for both tour stops. B-29 Doc Executive Director Josh Wells said, quote, 
B-29 Doc is one of only two B-29 Superfortress aircraft still airworthy and flying." End quote. Iowa to host Cessna 120 through 140 Association Annual Convention The International Cessna 120 through 140 Association's Annual Convention attracts enthusiasts from all corners of the world. The multi-day event includes maintenance and safety forums, flying events, business meeting, social activities, and visits to historical or other points of interest. The 2023 International Cessna 120 through 140 Association Convention will be held in Decorah, Iowa on September 12 through 16, 2023. Iowa's Decorah Municipal Airport is a city-owned public-use airport located two nautical miles southeast of the central business district of Decorah, a city of some 8,000 inhabitants in northeastern Iowa's Winnesheet County. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Over-restricted FAA regulatory initiative stands to devastate air tour industry. The FAA contends it is moving to improve the collective safety of air tours across Hawaii. The agency has outlined more or less what it touts a, quote, consistent new process where an air tour operator can receive authorization to safely descend below specific altitudes to avoid flying into bad weather. FAA regulations require air tour operators in the state of Hawaii to maintain altitudes of at least 1,500 feet AGL unless specifically authorized to fly lower. The agency asserts its newly proposed process comprises detailed guidance by which operators may develop safety plans supportive of their authorization requests. The FAA sets forth it will, quote, thoroughly review each operator's safety plan before issuing an authorization, end quote. The public will have 30 days to comment on the proposed protocol, which could take effect in spring 2024. Undeterred by the opinions of many pilots, the FAA concluded in an August 4, 2023 communique titled FAA Outlines Hawaii Air Tour Safety Improvements that all aircraft operators are legally beholden to the provisions of the agency's air tour management plans for Hawaii's national parks. Broadly speaking, air tour management plans, or ATMPs, call for radical and reactionary measures, the likes of eliminating air tours in their entirety in some U.S. parks, and in others, cutting such undertakings by as much as 86 percent. And coming up after these messages, NASA reestablishes contact with Voyager 2. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. NASA reestablishes contact with Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, NASA's Voyager program is predicated upon two robotic interstellar probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The Voyager's launch windows took advantage of favorable alignments of the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and the ice giants Uranus and Neptune, to which the two probes journeyed and collected data prior to proceeding outbound. Both Voyagers remained in operation beyond the outer boundary of the sun's solar winds, dutifully collecting and transmitting multiple daily hours of useful data. On July 21, 2023, contact with Voyager 2 was lost after a programming error skewed the probe's transceiver array a few critical degrees. Fortuitously, on August 6, following a 16-day communication blackout, NASA reported contact with the spacecraft had been reestablished over a distance of some 12.3 billion miles. Had NASA teams failed to otherwise reestablish contact with Voyager 2, the probe would have remained dark until October and the auto-execution of a corrective protocol. NASA referred to its successful attempt to reorient Voyager 2 as an interstellar shout. Following the so-called shout's acknowledgement, NASA set forth in a statement, quote, At 12.29 a.m. ADT on August 4th, the spacecraft began returning science and telemetry data, indicating it is operating normally and that it remains on its expected trajectory, end quote. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.